proof When I spend in the end I make it back And I keep my shoddy right beside me Ask me as true love I could never need another side piece Me and my gang on a long long ride Cause we know life be a water slide Right boys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make that intro effect that you're seeing on screen. And if you can't hear, I'm using voice meter. So let me know if my voice sounds more crispier or if it sounds way worse, you know, just gotta let me know. And as always, all the clips, media, sound effects, and project file will be in my Discord server for server boosters only. So if you want to support me, make sure you boost the server and you'll get access to some cool perks. But anyways, enjoy the video. Right, here we are in Vegas, so I'm gonna do this tutorial in 60 FPS, but it doesn't really matter if you want to follow the tutorial step by step and make sure it's at 60. Anyways, click apply, click OK, and now drag in your song, drag in your clip. Now you want to decide how long your intro will be. So in the preview, it was 8 seconds long, but if you think it's too long, then you can always make it shorter. So I'm gonna have it start here, and I'm gonna have it about 8 seconds long, as you can see over here. So make sure the intro ends on like a beat over here. Ask me. Then I'm gonna drag in my clip and then you gotta of course sync it to the kill beat. So this is our kill beat. So once those steps are done, make sure I've made markers. You have the marker that ends the transition and then the marker for the clip's kill. So now we're gonna record the intro. So in order to do that, you need OBS or some recording program that can record your screen. And then you have to set up the layout. So the layout I did at the intro, I made my preview over here to full. Then I put this plugin manager window on the side. Now, if you don't have this, make sure you go to view window and there is plugin manager over here. So you want to want to pull it out then you want to hold control and drag it to the side make sure it locks in like that so now of course you want the preview window to be in the middle so drag this one like that and then drag this one like that so make sure it's about in the middle like that so yeah now you want to drag the song and then the clip back and we're going to record ourselves dragging it back so we're gonna do this in the you know recording so have it set up like this make sure only the song and clip is visible Start recording, of course I'm already recording, but imagine I'm recording, so 3, 2, 1, go, so I will do this, drag it over here, then this one, drag it over there, and then go to the start of the transition, and then wait a bit, and then end the recording right there, boom. So then you should have something like this, a recording of you just like dragging this back and dragging the clip back and then clicking on the clip so of course once you have this you drag it onto here and you want to decide first of all how long you want how long you want a mask transition to last so mine was about four seconds long in the preview i would probably do it again on a beat shake that sounds like a good one I'm gonna mark it there and basically the clip will be there and then the mask will be at the start so make sure on your recording you look at the point you start moving everything so as you can see i start moving it uh, about over here so i'm gonna put it one over there and make sure split and make sure everything ends like that so here we have our video recording but as you can see it's not long enough because it just cuts off without us clicking on it so you want to add velocity to it of course if you need to and then just Put it up higher until you can see the clip like that. Yeah, that it syncs up like this. But yeah, once you have that, uh, you want to go to the start over here. And then we want to take a screenshot. So click on save snapshot to file. Click. Then click save. And here we have our image. So now you want to make a couple of new video tracks. So right click and just insert a bunch like that. Then you can drag in your image. And now we can start the masking. So here's our image. All right, so then you want to go to pen and crop. Go to position and zoom it in until you cannot see like your desktop stuff. So it's only like, you know, Vegas Pro. Then you want to go to masking and make sure enable that thing. And then make sure sync cursor is checked like that. So click on the first keyframe and now we can start masking. So you can mask whatever you want. So I'm going to mask the video first. I'm going to click on this rectangle click and then I'm going to highlight this window. So do something like that. Make sure it's as perfect as you can get it. So something like this is fine. As you can see, you can see our mask over there. So once you have this, you can mask something else. So copy this over to the top. Go back to pan and crop. Instead of resetting your mask, click this over here. So make sure it shows move in X only. And then you can move your mask 
to the side. And now we're gonna mask out this, so make sure it's perfect as well. And once you have that, make sure there is no gaps in between. That is nice like that. And of course, close it out, copy and paste over to the next one. Go to pen and crop, and now you can move it to the left. Move it over here. You can move it around with this. You can click on it again, select all, and then move it around. So just like that, we got no gaps. Close it out, copy it again, go to the top. And now we need to mask out the bottom. So instead of masking it out again, click on this until it says move in Y only. Drag it down. We're going to mask this video tracks. So do that. Then shrink it down till it's only video tracks like that. Once you have that, close it out, copy it onto the next track over here. And now we can move this thing to the side. So make sure it's on moving X only. Drag it to the side. Make sure everything's aligned. Then we can extend this all the way to here. And then if you check, here is our Vegas Pro mask. All right, so we're gonna start with this top one. So go to video effects, search for warp transform over here. Drag default one onto here. Then copy my settings. And now you want to go to motion blur, make sure you enable that and put it to the highest one, 360. Then you want to go to the very beginning over here and keyframe some stuff. So keyframe shift X, shift Y, D distance, swivel and tilt. And then you can move it around. So I'm going to move the swivel. This will turn it to the side. I can move the tilt. So it's like that. I can zoom it in a little bit and then move it all the way to the side. So make sure it's on the side like this over here. Then you want to go somewhere in the middle. So you can't really see this, but go somewhere over here. And then place keyframes. What I'm basically gonna do is reset this back to zero. This one zero, this one zero, this one is one. And this is zero and zero. So what we've done is we animated it like that. And now I wanna make these keyframes to fast fade. So click on all of them, hold control, right click fast fade, just like that. So once you have this, you can head on over and search for lens correction. There we go, BCC lens correction, drag that onto here. But then you want to make the correction to 100% like that. Then you want to keyframe it and go somewhere in the middle. So over here and set it to zero. And of course, set this one to fast fade. So now we have sort of this warp as well, as you can see. Then we have the mask coming in like that. So once you have this done, you can head on over, right click, copy, and then head on over to the next image. So we're gonna paste it onto this one. You wanna right click, selectively paste event attributes, make sure the third one is checked. So video events, effects and keyframes, click and then okay. So what he has done is copied the effects, but we don't want it to go in the same direction. So we're gonna change it. So go to the very start. Uh, you might wanna reset this back to zero so that you see what you're working with like that. Maybe disable lens correction for now. They want to maybe tilt us up, swivel it to the side. And then move it a little bit to the side like that and a little bit down. Enable a lens correction back. And now we can see it in action. So as you can see, it's gonna come in like that. So now we can copy this and then paste it onto the next one. Selectively paste. Okay. Now I can head on over to here. As you can see, it's gonna copy what it did to the other image. So we need to change it as well. We go to the very beginning, disable BC lens correction. Then you can see it over here. So... <clears throat> Then we can see it over here. So maybe you want the tilt to be like that. Swivel to the side like this and then make it go up and then to the side like that and make sure to enable it again. So now we have the three masks going from different directions like that. So once again, And then once you have done all of that, your masks should look something like this. So as you can see, that's pretty cool. But of course, we're not done. So if you want the same effect that I had, which like pieces came in at not the exact same time, they were all delayed. What you want to do is start with the second image from the top and move it a little bit like that. Then do the same thing with this one. And we're basically making a staircase, as you can see, like that so now make sure everything ends where it's supposed to on this marker and as you can see everything will come in like delayed like that so once you have done this now you need to make a few new video tracks in some areas so we have this image you want to right click and insert new video track you have this one right click insert new video track and you're inserting a video track where the image is so you want to leave a gap for every single image like this then you want to go to media generator uh, go to solid color and drag in white so drag the solid color all the way to the top all right so this is gonna be a little goofy to understand but go on the effects on your first image on top then you want to look at the point where every single effect ends so where your keyframes end over here then you want to go one frame forward one and then place a marker so now what we're gonna do is cut on this marker grab our solid color 
and then make the sort of fade out like that now make sure you decrease the opacity because that is too bright something like that is fine so now we're gonna copy this part of the effects so right click here copy and right click on the solid color and click on paste so now when the transition comes in you know like flash like that which is i guess pretty cool so yeah do the same thing for the next one go to here effects check where it ends go frame forward place a marker cut on the marker you can copy the solid color like this boom and copy effects from here copy and then paste it onto here paste So yeah, my transition came out to be a little too long. As you can see, there's nothing over here. So we can fix that real quick. So you want to shrink it to where the last image ends, where the last solid color is here. Then do this for each one. Shrink it down like that. Then you want to click on this tool, selection red tool. Select everything from here. Go all the way to the bottom. If you have selected anything by accident, hold control and click it. And then move everything like that. Or actually click on here, then move everything. Make sure you deselected both audio and video. So boom. And yeah, once you have done that, uh, check where your transition starts. Mine starts here. You can cut down the audio like that and start it from there instead, like that. So yeah, once you have all of this, as you can see, it should blink and then it starts the video. Now we're going to configure the video. So on the video, head on over to pan and crop. Make sure to zoom it in just like you did with the masks so that you don't see like your taskbar and stuff something like that is fine i guess and once you have this done head on over all the way to the top make two new video tracks one and two then once again go to media generator solid color and put in black this will make it so that the video sort of fades in make the sort of fade in and now on this track what you want to do is go to video effects search for blur mock curves this effect over here drag it onto there then you want to set your shutter duration to 0 0.5 and then you see on top there's composite and blur mock curves so you want to make sure composite is at the start and now when you move your blur mock curves as you can see the whole video will move like that so this will act as our adjustment layer so you want a keyframe z distance then you want to go where the transition mask ends over here where the video starts you want to go a frame before that place a marker and then set this marker to 0 0.9 thing like that then go marker forward and set it back to one so we're gonna make this over here right click so fast fade sort of gonna zoom in throughout the transition so now another effect you apply is shake so here is shake i already have a preset for a shake and you can copy that so once you apply shake you're gonna drag it back like this then it's gonna apply so you can copy these settings over here it's nothing special but what you want to do is make sure it's at 0 0.200 start keyframing go to the very end and then set it to 0 0.4 like this and then once it hits with the video you want to go a few frames forward and set it to like 0 0.1 then of course go to where your transition fully ends over here set it to 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 and then go a few frames forward and set it to zero so it should look something like this as can shakes a lot stops then start shaking a lot and then stops and then of course all of the keyframes over here you want to make it to fast fade just right click on each of them and make it fast fade like that so now we're gonna only work with this clip and then this clip over here so and what you want to do for this clip go to media generator make sure to grab, grab the solid color white drag it onto here and do this fade out thing so something like this make the opacity lower and after all of the masks what this will do is sort of you no know, do this boom that looks pretty nice so now in this clip go to video effects search for blur more curves click on this one drag default one onto here set shutter duration to 0 0.5 and we can start the goofy keyframing so keyframe z distance shift x and then shift y i to go to the very start over here set your z distance to something like 0 0.9 all right then go a few frames forward so a couple like this set it to 0 0.8 like that then you want to go to almost the end or almost the end somewhere around here i don't know over here set it to 0 0.780 then go a couple frames forward so almost the end as you can see put it to something like 860 then at the end it's gonna zoom in into the clip but before i do that where you see a shift x and shift y we want the clip to sort of shift to the left side for a little bit so we're gonna go to this point that we made almost before the other point we're gonna put it to the left side like this not so much but a bit and yeah once you have done this go to the very end and then go frame forward so that you see what's happening so now you need to zoom in in this preview window so to do that of course then i gotta shift y up make sure it's aligned in the middle and 
try dragging your resistance up or down i mean and yeah just try to align it with the preview window make sure it's as perfect as you can get it so as you can see i'm just typing the numbers and trying to get it perfect enough as you can see something like this is pretty fine so what you want to do with this is go to this point and zoom it in a little bit because we're gonna make it like a little beat shake so it's gonna like pump it a bit so boom and yeah make sure a shift y keyframe starts over here that doesn't mess up the video so yeah set z distance to fast fade this one to fast fade now this point move fade and now this one you can see either set it to slow fade or make a little graph so i'm gonna do a little graph i'm gonna right click on this point manual and then on the end point click manual then i'm gonna drag this one up go to curves and this is our sort of speed graph so i'm gonna drag this point up and make it like a straight mountain over here and then it goes down so we just want like a slow graph that it slowly goes in like that boom so of course now shift x set it to smooth fade then over here set it to smooth fade and then for a shift y set it to a slow fade and see how it looks like because you don't want it to go out of bounds so as you can see we have some black on top so move shift y a little bit like that it's a little bit at the bottom that looks about right so once you have this you can apply our beat shake preset which is what i'm gonna do so here's my beat shake preset uh nothing special you can copy the settings if you want now of course what you want to do is search for levels and video effects and we're gonna apply some light on both of these clips so drag the default one onto here then you want to start keyframing drag levels so it starts roughly around here put it to slow fade go almost at the very end so over here and then set input end like 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 whatever you're feeling yeah see how it looks like as you can see it shines up you think it's too bright make it higher but that looks fine then do the same thing for the next one so drag it on the clip drag your input end down keyframe it go a couple frames forward set it back to one of course let's make this to a fast fade yeah it's gonna light up like this as you can see boom uh, so now what we're gonna do is apply some lens correction so search that up bcc lens correction drag it onto your video set correction to something like 100 i guess keyframe it drag this point all the way to the end and now you're gonna decide where you want your correction to start so i'm gonna start it where my level start let's put it back to zero then put it to slow fade so it's gonna do something like this and if you think it's too much always lower it so this looks fine now for this one we're gonna do the same thing so drag on lens correction put it to like 80 or 70 like that keyframe it go a couple frames forward set it to zero and of course make sure you put this to a fast fade and yeah then it should look like this and to finally top it all off let's apply some flicker so search for s underscore flicker we're gonna be applying a preset which you can copy like that so we want to keyframe amplitude go down put it all the way at the end and then start it from somewhere here maybe put it to zero set it to slow fade and it's gonna flicker into here like that boom then do the same thing for the next one apply it onto here add keyframing go a little bit to the right set it to zero and then set this one to fast fade like this yeah, now it looks something like this. And once you have done the whole effect, the whole video, the whole shenanigans, this is how it looks like. So yeah guys, that's the effect. Pretty long one, but if you made it until here, then make sure to drop a like. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Good, bye.